Hi, my name is Marion Kelmer, and I'm a farmer from Western Illinois. I've been doing independent on-farm research uh, for almost 40 years now. Uh, we're here in the uh, fertility uh, plots. Um, they're 60 foot wide, uh, uh, applied uh, phosphorus potassium, and then we have 60 feet without, and then 60 feet with uh, surface applied, and then 60 feet without. And uh, I noticed over 40 years of no-tilling um, that my yields were starting to struggle a little bit, just didn't look as good, and I was wondering if I had stratification. So I, I took my soil probe um, about four or five years ago and started um, taking the probe uh, core, and then I'd cut it into one-inch increments, and, and then I would send it off to the lab, like what I show here in this photo, and we got the results back, and I do, in fact, have a serious stratification problem. Um, so what that means is that in the top one inch of the profile, um, I've got very, very high nutrient levels. And then at the bottom, the, the seven to the eight inch mark, um, we've got a very low level. Now our averages seem to look just fine. But the problem that we noticed is that, uh, especially in a dry year, we're just really struggling to grow a good crop. And uh, there's no moisture in the surface. Therefore, there's not a lot of nutrient uptake as, as well. So we did some of the research plots where we did uh, six, uh, six tenths of an acre of moldboard plowing. And then we've done a little chisel plowing and um, so we're going back to strip till. Um, I um, did that up until the early 90s, and then I went to 15-inch uh, no-till corn, 15-inch no-till beans. Um, so now we're going back to the 30-inch and, and maybe even the 20-inch uh, strip till. So I'm going to go ahead and take some of the uh, nutrient uh, levels uh, again here today and find out now in the strip um, have we been able to change that? Are we starting to mix those nutrients back down into the root zone? And also, I've got my penetrometer out here with me today. And, and so we're going to take some readings in the strip and um, versus in the old corn row here. Um, so we're, we are planting uh, soybeans here today. And um, we're excited to, to see if we can improve um, our no-till slash strip-till uh, performance, and as we move into the future, how much fertilizer uh, is necessary in the strip in order to grow a great crop. So uh, with that, um, hopefully we'll have some more interesting data as we go through the growing season. Thanks for watching the video. As always, call me on my cell phone, 309-368-1182. If you want to discuss some of the struggles with stratification, thanks for watching the video. Have a safe and uh, profitable growing season.